Today we just want to have a brief look at what's the difference between an improvisation, a composition, a variation, an arrangement, an accompaniment or an orchestration. And we'll do it through the lens of a particularly simple piece of music. And essentially, when a musician is improvising, they're really creating spontaneously a series of notes and organizing them in a way that makes sense. Let me just give you a very, very simple and very, very brief uh, demonstration of that. I'm going to play something that I've actually never played before. Improvising is what you and I do spontaneously all the time, every time we just have a conversation with somebody. A musician does the same thing. They have a reservoir, a vocabulary that they've learned from their musical experience. And when they hear some musical foundation, they've got the ability to be able to just pull from their reservoir and organize the notes in an order so that it makes sense to them and or the listener. Compositions very often start off as an improvisation. The musician might be improvising and play a few notes and it's like, wow, I really like the sound of that and they capture it. Now, that might be captured by a recording or just by memory or the musician might write it down. But if they like that particular way they organize that series of notes and they capture it so they have the ability to play it again, we would call that a composition. I'm going to play a song. This is actually the very first song that our beginning students learn at Simply Music. Typically, our students would be playing this song, you know, from beginning to end with both hands within their first or second lesson. That's really super common. So let's have a listen. I could turn around and I could play that song again exactly the same way. If I've got it in a music notation format, I could give that to another musician and they could play that song. And so the fact that we've taken these sentences, these musical phrases and put them together, captured them and, and are now able to reproduce them, that's what we would call a composition. When we bring lyrics to a composition, it's now called a song, technically, a song is a composition that also has lyrics. Now, these days, we're more relaxed about terminology. I don't mind if anybody calls any piece of music a song, but technically speaking, a song would be a composition that has lyrics. I've created some lyrics. Now, the general mood of this song is pleasant. It's sort of like an up energy. So when I put lyrics to my piece, I'd like them to have an up sort of feeling. So I'm going to play the piece again. This time I'm going to sing the lyrics. I love singing. I'm not by other people's standards, a good singer, and certainly no one's gonna be buying an album of me singing, but I'm gonna sing it for you regardless. Sitting here with you, nothing much to say. Listen to my thoughts, pass the time away. I like having dreams, one for me and you. So there we have it. We took a series of notes that may have been in improvisation. We captured them and put some structure to them and that gave us a composition. Now we've created some lyrics and brought that to it and now our composition has become a song. 
A variation would be where we just take a piece of music and we make some adjustment to it. Sometimes the adjustment will be minor, sometimes it'll be quite significant. But have a listen and watch what we do here. I'm going to take the piece that we just worked on, Dreams Come True, a very simple piece. Let's have a look. My hands were here and this is where I played Dreams Come True. Sitting here with you. This is where my hands were. Now watch what I do. I'm just going to take my hands and I'm just going to move my hands up one note. So all that I've done is just put my hands in a slightly new position. But I'm going to play exactly the same piece of music. So I'm going to play the same order of notes in both my left and right hand. But because I've moved into a slightly different position, listen to how different the mood of the piece is. What I'm going to do now, because the mood is so different, I'm going to create a different set of lyrics to match that mood. So once again, I'm going to play the same piece, but this time I'm going to sing some new lyrics to our new composition, which really was just a variation on our previous composition. Let's have a listen. So now what we've done with our variation that had such a different mood, we think of it as a new composition, now what I've created is a new set of lyrics and in creating those lyrics, I've turned that now into a new song. An arrangement is when we take a piece of music, a composition, and we organise it in a particular way in a way that still preserves the original composition but brings new mood or new colour or new light, differences to the piece that makes it a little bit more interesting. We're going to do the same thing with our new piece, the piece that I just played before, which was derived originally from our first piece, Dreams Come True. We moved it up into one position, had a very different mood. We added lyrics to it and made it a song, and because of that different mood and the different lyrics, it becomes its own composition. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take that same piece and I'm going to do an arrangement. And in this instance, I want to preserve the, the melody of the song, the tune of the song, the way that it would go if you were to be singing it. But I'm going to add some additional notes. And so it gives it a little bit more richness and a little bit more fullness. I've also given this new piece with the new lyrics a different name. Instead of Dreams Come True, this one's a little bit more sad and thoughtful. I'm calling this one Can I Share My Heart. This is what we'd call an arrangement. Very often we want to play with other people, whether they be vocalists or other instrumentalists. When you accompany, it doesn't sound like the song. It's almost like a painting. We have this beautiful painting, but what allows the painting to be there in the first place is the canvas. So the canvas is the basis on which the painting is done. And that's what an accompaniment does. It provides that musical foundation that allows the melody to make sense. And it gives it that basis. Here's what I'd like to do. I'm going to play a recording 
that was done a little while ago with this wonderful vocalist, uh, Destiny Molina. I keep right out of the way so that Destiny can sing the melody. Let's have a listen. I love that piece of music and I love her vocal rendition. I think it's just wonderful. I'm going to take Can I Share My Heart? We're going to do an arrangement of that piece, but in this instance, our arrangement is going to use instruments from the orchestra, a really big, wide, full-bodied representation of instruments that brings a whole new life to our song. We want to take this piece and we want to give it a very big, almost cinematic treatment, a cinematic arrangement, very rich, very big, very full. And because of the size and the, and the richness and the fullness of this piece, I also said to Destiny, I want you to sing the song with more intensity, more longing, more energy, more power. So let's now have a listen to Can I Share My Heart. This is actually a, a, a fuller arrangement, so I'm just going to play a, an excerpt from that. You will hear how completely different it sounds once we bring this beautiful orchestral arrangement to it. So let's have a listen to Can I Share My Heart, sung by Destiny and orchestrated and arranged by Eo. Okay, there we have it. Have a listen to this. Look at, look at what we've done. We talked about an improvisation, just a spontaneous organization of notes. We talked about let's capture some notes because we like the sound of them and organize them in a particular way so that we can reproduce it. That gave us a composition. We created some lyrics to that composition. That gave us a song. We introduced a variation. But that variation changed the mood so significantly that it gave us an opening to create new lyrics and we created a new song. We did an arrangement of that new song and filled it out. And once we filled it out further, we then brought in a vocalist and not only had our arrangement, but also turned the playing of the piece into an accompaniment where the piano was playing the role of accompanying the vocalist. And then finally, we took our simple piece of music and we did a really big, big full, rich uh, arrangement. And in this instance, our arrangement was an orchestral arrangement. So I would just call this an orchestration. And look at how that simple little piece of music that just started with those few notes just moved into a new position. Once it's treated musically, it gives it a whole new life, a whole new richness, a whole new fullness. One of the great lessons about this is that it allows us to see that sometimes the most beautiful, big, full, rich pieces can be very, very simple in their design. In fact, I'm of the view that the more simple, the more room is left for us to be able to do beautiful colorations and beautiful treatments. So there you have it. I hope you've really enjoyed it. If you'd like to find out more about Simply Music, it's a remarkable learning method. We have students playing fantastic sounding music from their very first lessons. Just check us out at simplymusic.com and I'll see you next time.